Hi guys, I'm Harrison101, and welcome back to Grid Autosport. Yep, you guys asked for it, and I'm giving back to you. Grid, the Let's Play went so well, I thought, let's continue by doing also sport now that's out and amongst us all. Um, I'm very excited to get this on the way. Um, I'm going to be totally honest here. This is the second time I've recorded this, because the first time I did it, my Elgato was ridiculously laggy, and the video was stuttering and almost unwatchable. So I kind of already know a little bit about what's going on, but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work out. So sorry in advance about that, if it seems like I know a little bit too much for a brand new game, it's because I've already kind of recorded it once, and it didn't work out. So yeah, whatever. Career mode, let's go! Oh, the Season 25 of the Grid Legend series. Translation, we're going ahead in time here, because why the heck not? Yeah, this is the first race in the game. It is basically a two-lap touring car race around Hockenheim's Grand Prix course. It's the Category B touring car, which I think is the DTM kind of cars you see. But this is it. Codemasters presents Grid Auto Sports. Here we go. First race. No requirements really, just just get the car home more than anything else. Very defensive that dude right there. Just, 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 just use this race just to get a feel of the game, the feel of the car, and all that good stuff. But I'm really excited for this Let's Play now. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I reckon I'm really enjoying the game so far. Oh, bit of contact. But yeah, so I played a early build of this. Um, the pre-alpha build, you may see that on my channel already. This is the full meat and potatoes retail release, obviously. So I'm still kind of a little bit of a noob to this. Because this is not the same game, technically, really. Um, it could be very different on the inside. But we'll find out together, I guess. I'm into 7th place now. Well, but I love this Hockenheim Stadium section so much. It's like driving into a football pitch, it's great. Tried a bit of a lunge there on the inside, didn't quite work. Some streaming now. Oh my god! Car flipping upside down there! Bauer Royals, he's gone full Felipe Massa. <laughs> of course, the flashback makes its return from the, from the original grid. Getting staying tight to this Audi to slipstream here. Leo Turner here. Gotta go the long way around to pass him though. Going to be very close to the grass. Yes! Got through. Nice. Just Alex Cote and Aaron Westley of the S, that Raven West team. 
to go here in this very first Grand Prix. Can we find a way to win this one here? Got about four corners to go here. Bit of a lunge. You're gonna come back. Oh, hello! Pretty much ran me off the road there. Just jammed up the inside and kept it on that side of the track now. Oh, that's a bit of a dive bomb. Let's try that again. That, that, that wasn't particularly nice, was it? Respect the teammate. Respect the teammate. A little bit. I say respect the teammate and then Heden runs me off the road. Down the inside. Takes a ride line, but I think we got it. Yes, how about that? On the final corner, we make it stick and take the victory. Not that it really matters on this one. <laughs> This music is really jazzy. I'm body popping right now, you can't even see it. Right, let's get these knee details in right quick. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, introduction there. Uh, Gatta seems to be working perfectly this time around, which is excellent, which is what we need to see. Let's get my name in here real quick. You guys know my name already. It's no secret. Uh, it's on my Twitter profile, for God's sake. Age, 21 to 30. Yes, I'm old. I'm 22 in three weeks' time, believe it or not. Oh, no, I'm as, I am as old as fuck for this community now. Uh... There is no Harrison in here. There's Gary. There's Gaz. There's freaking Elliot and all that crap. But no Harrison. No Andre. No Harrison. I've got to go with Harry. Hey, Harry. What's up? Oh, great. Pardon me there, I've got a bit of a uh, chesty cough. But um, as you can see, just like in the previous grid, there's a whole heap of difficulty options here you can go through to give yourself more XP if you fancy more of a challenge. I know Alex Gillen dived in on very hard because he's a hardcore bona fide racer. I'm not, on the other hand, and I'm sure if you're watching me, you probably already know this. Um, we'll take full damage. So 24% bonus XP right now. AI difficulty, I think medium is about right at the moment. Um, if it gets too easy, I'll think about upping it to hard. If you guys want to see me try a higher difficulty, maybe I will in the future. Um, I, th I think medium is good for now because it's a brand new game for me. I think we'll go with two flashbacks for 3% extra. Um, Tactic control on, ABS on... I think we need corner and assist. No, we don't. We'll keep the HUD on, actually. There's no need to turn it off, really. It's, it's, it's information more for you guys than anything else. I'll keep the racing line off for the time being. 
Um, I didn't really need it that badly in the original. I didn't use it in the original grid, so I don't think I'm going to need it now. Um, interior only for camera slots, I think. Like 2%. Race length doesn't matter. You can, If you want, you can have all the races to be twice, three times, or even five times long in length. So we'll stick with that for the time being. So, without further ado, let's tackle our first season. Okay, I could stick with Torin. I did that in my last recording. Um, I'm gonna try something different on this one, actually. My brother is begging for open wheel in the background. Zafro started with that, didn't he? Gillen started with endurance. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Don't do a clock, so and say the rest of the friggin' rhyme, you idiot. Um. All right, my brother is here. Open wheel it is. <sighs> you might have heard him in the background there. Oh. This is fast yet disciplined racing, where contact should be avoided at all costs. Take full advantage of your rival's slipstream to really put the pressure on. I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit more difficult. Championships. Committing to the longer season will mean more races, but will also earn you more XP for the chosen discipline. Okay. So, it's the, it's the Sound Laboratory Zoom GP series in Formula C. I think these are the GP3 cars. Um, Here are your first two team offers. Once you have chosen, you are with them for the season. The team target is what you need to achieve to fulfill your contract and bring in better offers season after season. Hit the team bonus for even more XP and more lucrative team offers. Right. So, you can choose either Razor or Intel. Each contract has different XP requirements and different objectives in order to hit them. Also, each team has a limited amount of vehicle setup, which obviously gives you the choice to choose how your car handles, suspension, brake bias, all that good stuff. I'm going to go with Razor for this first one because I like the fact that you can, you can have a medium vehicle setup. Before you accept an offer from a team, tab through the details for the season ahead. To make an informed decision. Okay, so event one's going to be two races at Sepang's International Circuit in reverse. The other one is going to be the Autosport Raceway in the club circuit. So hopefully that'll work out. So the judges drive 25 miles and all that good stuff. It also talks about your teammate. In this case, it's Tommy King. Expectations run high for this open wheel driver. However, he must contain his nerves if he wishes to get results. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> This is going to be interesting because I've not... Oh, I mean, I, I wasn't the best open wheel guy in the original grid, to be honest. If these form, I think these Formula C cars are a bit faster than the Formula 1000 cars I was using in the original grid. So I'd have to wait and see. But as they pointed out, qualifying is super important because it's the same grid positions throughout. So my, my brother was kind of telling me not to qualify. But in this case, I think it's a little bit too important. And I kind of have to really on this circumstance. So, as you can see here, in the paddock area, you can race, you can qualify, it's three laps, no restarts allowed, um, and that's it. You get ten minutes of practice time if you want as well. Uh, we have shorter gear, which I think will work out quite nicely. And let's have a high downfall setup, a higher downfall setup as well. I like the corners. Okay. Let's qualify. It is, the, it, is the, it is the southern half of the Sepang track in reverse. There we go. That's the better on more cam, I think. Right. Let's do it. Well, this, is, this is not a touring car. Just, just, just want to point that out. <laughs> 
Feels very different, a bit oversteery. Whoa! I'm completely firing blind to this now for the open wheelers. Tight terms of a second lap so far. All these cars obviously are the same, it's just a matter of setup and things like that. Well, oh, 1.1 is the target. It's a good time, I like that number. I think we're about to beat it, mind you. One minute point eight. Nice. Could go a bit quicker, though, mind you. Lewis Hamilton, I am not, for obvious reasons. I'm not that fast, and I don't want like a petulant bitch either. <laughs> I was joking, by the way, if anyone starts on me. Whoa! A lot of oversteer there. Well, I've got, a, I've got two flashbacks. I might as well use one of them, right? It definitely feels like I'm driving an open reeler though. It definitely has that feel. This is very fun though. Rick Scott's beating me by two thousandths. So he's done a one minute point eight two. Can we beat that over the line this time around? Yes, we can. One minute point four five. Oh, very late on the brakes. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Now, I know a lot of people have uh, mentioned the fact, oh, but why are the interiors so blurred out? I don't really mind this, because it's, it's kind of realistic, if anything. Like, you're not going to have a completely clear view of your of your interior like this if you're driving a car. So I don't really mind. I'm focusing on the road ahead anyway, so I don't really... It doesn't really bother me that you, the interiors are blurred out. Just be thankful you've got an interior cam in this in this game, because to be honest, a lot of people bitched about it in Grid 2. Right, we're up about, about six temps, which is nice. Nice. Rick Scott's done a, gone again. He couldn't beat it. He's done a one, one minute point uh, eight three. Coming up towards the line now. One minute zero four. Pole position. You beauty. 60 seconds dead. We will take that. Take that, Scotty. Two point bonus for, for qualifying on pole position, which is, which is only going to help. Okay, so we're on pole position. I think the gears are a little bit too low for my standards, so we'll, we'll turn that back down to normal. But hopefully, hopefully we've just got to try and stay clean for these four laps because obviously this is open wheel. This isn't like touring cars where argy bargy is kind of allowed and almost encouraged. It's not quite the same here. And Rick Scott takes the lead. And we take the lead off Scott into turn one there. I've already gotten used to the car now. I think it feels great.
That happiness feels so satisfying. I love it. I'm really enjoying this, actually. This is great stuff. The sounds, yeah, it feels like I'm inside an open wheeler. From all the footage you see on YouTube and things like that, it feels like I'm in an open wheeler. It's really immersive. For, and this is, remember, this is for an arcade game. I know a lot of people got ridiculously nervous saying, why isn't it why isn't it a simulator? And I never said it was a simulator in my previews. I just said it feels a lot like it. And it has oh bit of a bit of a white line penalty there, but minor stuff. But like I said, it, it has a simulation feel. It feels very immersive, especially for an arcade game. And it is an arcade game at heart, really. But we, and we all know that. That's what that's what the grid series has always been. I know so many people bitched on my on my on my preview video saying, "Well, why isn't it like Project Cars?" And I'm like, "Dude, that is a next gen full simulation, and you're comparing it to a to a current gen arcade game. Are you stupid? It's a dumb comparison, and it's unfair on the game. For what it is, I think it handles very well, and I'm really enjoying it right now. One second up on Rick Scott." Coming out and now to start another lap. My teammate's at the back because he's an idiot. One minute point zero five. I almost matched my qualifying time. Bit of a slide there. Not ideal. Sliding it around a bit now, I've got a bit more confidence now. That's a bit too much on the sliding. Whoa! Just the bag onto the lead there. Rick Scott getting very close. Let's try again. Let's just uh, get back in the groove and. Hopefully not make another mistake. That cost me half a second and now Rick's got to my slipstream, which is an ideal either. Nailed that one. Oh, this is great. Right, one more corner to go. Looks like Rick Scott's got no answer for me. Can we go under a minute? That'd be pretty sweet. Sub 60 seconds. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, easy. 58.65. Excellent. We nailed that one, man. Fantastic. Woo! First professional win. Fifty-eight point six. Rick Scott did a one minute dead on the last lap as well. Um two seconds ahead of him in the end. So yeah, we get the win. Fantastic stuff. So we're 10 points clear in the Drivers' Championship, and we're dead level with Raven West in the team standings. So the second race in this first event will be same again. Uh, Sepang in reverse, and remember, like I said before, the qualifying positions remain constant, so I'll be starting from pole again for round two. Let's go. Rick Scott again gets the better launch. It's a bit too tentative on the breaking into that first into that first turn and we're back ahead again.
But yeah, I said I've played now for about an hour. First impressions are really positive. I think if you enjoyed the original grid, I think you're really going to enjoy this game. It has a lot of what made the original so great. The, the, the varying disciplines, um, you know, the, the, the different styles of car, you know, the, it, it's, it's gritty, it feels like you're in an open wheel car and things like that, it's immersive. But it's also a bit more polished, and, you know, it, the handling model I think is better than, the, than Grids was originally. Obviously you'd expect that and it would be because given there's seven years between the two games still. But the hand in the model is great. I I'm really enjoying it. Yes, it's arcade, but it's still really enjoyable. I'm really liking this. My brother definitely made the right call to go open wheel. This is really nice. Bit wide there. Not too bad a mistake. Open the throttle up. Oh, this this is good. This is good. I'm looking forward to driving the faster cars as long as I know there's indie cars later on in this in this section, so that's gonna be fun. 59, 58 for that lap. Definitely ran over that one. My bad. The game does punish you for going over the white lines on, on the apex of a corner, which is, I know it. I know it's a good thing, and it, it encourages you to be more precise. But on top of that, as well, though, um, I do wish it was kind of optional because it is really annoying. But you know what? It's your mistake at the end of the day. Should be driving better. Fifteen seconds out of my teammate already. That's ridiculous. One minute dead. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the LP so far. Um, obviously a lot more to come from all sorts of different disciplines and events and whatnot. Hopefully this can be just as good as my original Grid Let's Play from, from last year and this year. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see what I can do with this game. And hopefully I'm going to stick with this stick with this rather than Gran Turismo 6, which started to bore me to tears after like episode 10 or whatever. I could rant about that game for another 15 minutes if I really wanted to. Coming up towards the line now, though. And as we take our second win. 59-56. Over I think I was faster than my first race as well. 403.9 overall. So that's that's on my teammate. I won. I got 26 points for winning. Jeez, I got the win. I think you get a bonus point for fastest lap as well, which is excellent. So yeah, 26 points. Rick's got second with 18. It's got it's got the Formula One style scoring system down to 12th place by the looks of it. Teammate down in 15th. That's annoying. So drivers wise, I lead by 18 points over Rick Scott and Leo Turner in third. And as we reach the halfway point in this championship, Razor are four points behind Raven West. Friggin' teammate. Five sponsor objectives met. So a whole heap of bonus XP coming. A total of 9,890. Fantastic. More coming, hopefully. And that will be on episode two. So until then, I've been Harrison101, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Sayonara!